was shaken to its core when gun violence claimed lives of individuals during a brazen attack. This act has not only left families devastated, but has also highlighted the growing epidemic of gun violence in South Africa. I think the government is taking things slowly, like taking things for granted. They need to do something. Family members of the deceased are crippling with unbearable loss, still in shock from the events that unfolded just hours after the Lobola ceremony. We are heartbroken. Even the family, we came to give the condolences to the family of Mashiane, which is very hard for them to accept what happened here. It's shocking. Crime is rampant here in Orange Farm. Residents report hearing gunshots daily, living in fear. Despite these cries for help, many feel abandoned by those sworn in to protect them. I think in our country, gun-related death is an order of the day because each and every day there is a sound of guns. And as a community, we now live in fear, asking ourselves now we'll be able to see tomorrow. A family member and the eyewitness narrated the horrible ordeal of that night. But now, 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 what <laughs> This is what is left of a building that was once a tavern. The altercation started in this place that left seven people dead a few meters away from this place. South Africa has been grappling with a disturbing rise in gun-related violence. According to statistics, the country now ranks at the top of the gun violence charts in Africa, a shocking distinction that speaks volumes about the accessibility of firearms, both licensed and unlicensed, within the borders. What is now left of the community are memories of Sunday the 13th, as the community gathers to mourn their loved ones, it's clear that the tragedy is a symptom of much larger issue, a crisis that demands the authorities' attention. In Orange Farm, south of Johannesburg, for News Central, Bongani, Siziba.